What up, everybody? This is Matt with Survivalist 2012, and uh, I'm going to clean my blind horse knife today. I'm going to kind of show you guys the uh, things that I use and the steps that I take to care for my blind horse knife. Um, basically, what I do is I get a lot of complaints. People say my videos are kind of uh, dark, so I brought a light into this one for you. Plus, it's easier to work with um, when you're cleaning your knife. First thing I usually always do is I use this uh, stuff called rust treatment. Um, I spray the knife down with the, the rust tr uh, treatment first, you know, to kind of get all the access, maybe if there's any kind of rust buildup. Because if you store these knives in their sheaths for a long period of time and carry it on your hip, as I do, um, there may be a couple days when you don't use it, um, and it can build up some, some rust on the blade. Now, um, what I do is I spray it down with that, kind of get all the debris and, and everything off. It's a real good cleaner. Or you could just use your, your regular, whatever you use to clean your guns with. You can use that. This is what I use. You can get it at Walmart or something. Um, also, at, um, where did I get this? Harbor Freight. I got a little cheap Dremel. If you guys can see that. They're like 8 bucks. Can't beat that. Especially, you know, you make an $8 investment on a on the knife that you purchased. I think I paid about 130 for this. Plus I bought an extra sheath with the uh, fire steel on the back. Um, so I got about 130 bucks plus 35 bucks for the extra sheath. Um, so I definitely want to protect my investment. So usually uh, three or four times a year I do clean this knife up. I use this knife a lot in the woods. Um, I do a lot of, I carve a lot. I do a lot of stuff with this knife and this knife is actually been a great knife to own so if you guys ever are looking into buy, purchasing a very good bush knife um, this is a smaller one but this works perfect I use this as my everyday carry this is a perfect knife so basically um, what we'll do what I do is as you guys can see I've kind of already started on the one side there I haven't done it perfect yet but here's the other side this is what it looks like if you guys can see it, it it does get a rust color on it, and uh, like I said, I definitely like to uh, protect my investment. There's the one side I semi cleaned, but basically what I do is uh, I'll take this uh, this rust treatment here, and I'll just spray it onto a like a little paper towel right here. This is uh, you can get this stuff at in any automotive section um, at any auto parts store. And what I do is I kind of wipe the knife down a little bit and as you guys can see on the paper towel you may or may not be able to see how it kind of takes off that rust color a little bit so I do this to the uh, to the whole blade including the handle because the handle does get spots on it as well I mean this is a one tool steel so you definitely got to take care of this kind of steel here so what I do is I always you know um, you know, work that stuff into the metal there try and get as much off as I can after I do that, I move over to uh, Brasso. It is a, like a polishing agent. It's not brass, it's steel, but it still does a pretty good job. And then I use the Dremel on it, and I'll show you guys how I do that. Just shake it up. Just put a little dab on your paper towel there just a little bit and basically what I do is I lightly coat the knife with it and then I proceed to uh, buffing it out with my little eight dollar Dremel here it's kinda loud but uh, if you're not doing anything you're just sitting around watching TV perfect time to do this so I'll, I'll do it, you know, 20, 25, 30 minutes each side, just on the blade itself at first, until I get it to uh, what I like, and then I proceed to the handle and uh, everything like that. Now I'll go ahead and uh, shine this thing up, and I'll uh, I'll come back and show you guys what the finished product is. But you know, if you make a $130 investment you definitely want to take care of it so I'll be right back while I am doing this I am going to show you guys exactly how I use um, 
uh, use this Dremel with this knife. As you guys can see, and if you may already know, if you already have a blind horse knife, it does have certain grain to it. And what I do is, uh, at first I, I go against the grain and polish it out as much as I can. And then I do a follow-up and I go with the grain on it. So like I said, I mean I do about 20 to 25 minutes on each side, probably because this is a pretty crappy Dremel. Um, plus, I like to spend time on it. I'm kind of a particular person, so I like to make sure that it's done right and it looks nice when I'm done. Now, I use this knife a lot, so there's no way I'm going to get it perfect. Um, you're still going to see some, uh, some patina on the blade there. I know a lot of people, uh, they strive for that patina. But uh, me, I kind of like uh, I kind of like my knife to look a little sh a little shiny. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I do I do like it to look a little shiny. So ab after I go that way for you know five ten minutes, what I'll do is I'll flip the knife this way, and I'll go with the grain, and uh, I'll add more brasso, um, you know, two or three times while I'm doing it. Another thing that I like to do is uh. I got a little brush here. I want to get down to um, the logo part, the little blind horse logo part. I'll put this on, this attachment on here, and I'll get that logo real good, kind of clean that out a little bit the best I can. And then I, I usually move on to the handle. I'll polish the handle up and uh, make the, the metal look a little bit better in there. Now, I've had this knife for about a year now, and I haven't had to sharpen it. The, the thing stays super, super sharp. Um, I imagine eventually one day I'll have to have it sharpened and what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to send it back to Blind Horse to have it uh, professionally sharpened. I'd rather have it sharpened by them. Um, I've actually been thinking about putting a new uh, a new um, uh, sharpen on there. I mean, I, I like this straight, if that's what you want to call it. But I want more of a, a Scandi grind on there. Um, so maybe one day I will send it back and have a Scandi grind put on it. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'll show you guys the finished product when I get back and then I'll show you what I use on it um, to, uh, to continue protecting it as I store it in the sheath and carry it on my hip. So I'll be right back guys. Now usually when I'm done with the Brasso I usually take that um, little wheel off and then I start with a fresh um, polishing wheel and then I go over the whole knife try getting little cracks and crevices there by the handle so that's normally where it starts to discolor the worst at first I'll just go all the way up the blade with it All the way down the handle. And polish up the handles a little bit. And the under side of the knife. Then, like I said, I'll show you guys how I use the brush. You don't need to be super proficient with this brush. I just kind of get in there, a little blind horse logo, and try and clean it out a little bit. And that's basically all I do with the little brush here. Let's get all the little debris out of there. Like I said, like I said before, um, I use the hell out of this knife, so it's not going to be perfectly clean when I'm finished. It's going to hold some of that patina on there. Put this aside for you guys. And as you can see, it does have a nice little shine back to it again. Now what I do, when I'm all finished, just get a paper towel here. I get some uh, rim oil. This is what I used to oil my guns up with. Spray down the paper towel. And 
kind of rub the blade all over it. And if you want, you can you know, rub your handle on it a little bit. Give it some of that luster back. Now, um, like I said before, this is my everyday carry knife. Carry this everywhere I go. This knife right here, me and this knife here, <laughs> we're kind of inseparable. So, um, you know, you want to protect what you have, you know, especially if you spent a good amount on it. I'll put this knife up against any knife in the world. I love this thing. Um, it has not lost its edge, and I use this knife constantly in the bush uh, camping I, use, I do a lot of stuff with this knife here now I love this knife so much that I ordered it with just the regular brown sheath which you know it's perfect in there once you get it broke in it's it's awesome all you gotta do is grab it with your two fingers and it pulls right out this is the knife this is the sheath that I carry every day so when I go camping or fishing or go out in the bush I like to have my um, fire steel with me. So what I did is I called Blind Horse Knife and had them make this um, specially for me with the fire steel loop. Um, I don't know if they make these um, without you asking and ordering it. It was 35 bucks and then of course you know I have my fire steel. Um, this is just a little Gerber fire steel which is pretty thick. It fits right in that fire steel loop right there perfectly. And um, just put a little bungee cord around it to hold it in there. So, I mean, awesome knife for the money, but you definitely, um, I would recommend definitely taking care of it. Now, if you want, you can get some uh, some nice, nice uh, uh, leather cleaner, polish, whatever you'd like to take care of your sheaths. I usually don't do that. What I do is I put this around my belt and I tuck, I tuck this into the back of my back pocket so it's kind of not hanging out there all the time. So the only part that you actually see when my shirt comes up would be the handle and this part right here. So this normally stays tucked into my back pocket. I mean, it does come out, but I mean, I'm not really, I don't really care about keeping the, the sheath in perfect condition because if it does come out, I may sit down on the concrete as I'm working on my car. And as you see, I got some scuffs on it. I mean, I am a linesman, so I'm, I'm out doing a lot of hard work up on uh power poles and everything like that so I mean it does get bumped around this is the one that I want to bump around this one's still kind of uh, kind of tight so I don't use this one as much like I said this one is my everyday carry so if you guys are interested in checking these knives out go to blindhorseknife.com they're really nice knives guys you 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 know you'll be you'll be impressed you won't be disappointed if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. Until then, this is Matt with Survivalist 2012. Peace.